Well, more information is surfacing about that sports writer, Grant Wall, the one who died suddenly and unexpectedly in Qatar in the middle of the World Cup. The Wall Street Journal ran a story last Tuesday headlined, Soccer journalist Grant Wall died of aortic aneurysm, his wife says. Wall's wife, Dr. Celine Gounder, disclosed that her late husband, who was 49, died from an aortic aneurysm that ruptured. She thinks his brand new condition was probably just one of these things that had been likely brewing for years. For whatever reason, it happened at this point in time. Dr. Celine emphasized his death was unrelated to vaccination status. Now, I'm assuming Dr. Celine's confidence for ruling out vaccination status and lack of further curiosity must be due to her all-encompassing godlike medical omniscience or something. However, mere mortals not possessing this quality, namely diligent independent researchers, discovered what neither Dr. Celine nor corporate media couldn't find for some odd reason. A little story in eHealth Me titled, Pfizer-BioNTech COVID Vaccine and Aortic Aneurysm Rupture, a Phase 4 Clinical Study of CDA and FDA, sorry, CDC and FDA data, the summary of which is that aortic aneurysm rupture is found among people who get Pfizer-BioNTech COVID vaccine, especially for people who are male, 60 plus years old, and in the first week of getting the vaccine. Now, I'm not saying this is what happened to Grant. However, it's worth at least exploring and looking at. Unpacking the numbers, the trial's description reports the time to have aortic aneurysm rupture from when people get Pfizer-BioNTech COVID vaccine on the same day, 16.67% potential, in the first week, 33.33%, in the first 30 days, 16.67%, and after 30 days, 33.33%. So, so anybody who has the potential of having this happen, those are the time periods it can occur in. Now, I do find it truly surprising that Dr. Celine hadn't ever heard about any of this, given she's a member of Joe Biden's COVID-19 advisory board. Now, don't take my word for it. Look up her Twitter bio you'll see she is all things vaccination and COVID vaccine. In closing, though, I do offer Dr. Celine my sympathies for her tragic, sudden, and unexpected loss of her loving husband. Now, speaking of Celine's, appears that another one has been hit by an unexpected tragedy as well. This time, it's Celine Dion, who finally revealed she has stiff person syndrome, SPS which is so rare, it's only found in one in a million people. Certainly sounds like bad luck now, doesn't it? Who could have ever seen that one coming? Coincidentally, you'll never, well, not in a million years likely, guess what is one of the known listed side effects of potential side effects of the Pfizer COVID vaccine. Come on, give up. Yes, the COVID vaccines can potentially cause stiff person syndrome, according to the manufacturer. Once again, coincidentally, Celine Dion seems to have developed SPS after, well, potential COVID vaccination. Now, given I'm not a statistician, I'll let you calculate the odds of the possible link between the two things. Now, supposing for a moment that this is indeed a vaccine injury, Let's hope that she goes to a doctor who specializes in treating vaccine injuries. And I'll bet you that the number of those doctors is certainly growing. It's likely her only hope of recovering, since the sooner you are treated properly, the greater the chance of making a recovery. To get proper treatment, of course, you'll need to see a doctor who is open-minded to the potential root cause. Now, unlike Dr. Celine who's already made up her mind as to what happened to her husband, let's hope that Celine Dion is more open-minded in getting to the bottom of what could have potentially caused her current condition, and through the process, acquires the courage to not only speak truthfully and honestly, but do so no matter where it leads. Now, 
As always, I'll bring you the receipts. I don't like to talk out of my ass. I have put a link to the eHealth Me. I've also put in a link to the possible potential side effects and SPS being one of them in the notes section below. If you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. If you haven't seen some of the other videos, check them out. And as always, I welcome your comments and your thoughts. That's what we're here for. I like to unpack ideas. I like to hear what you've got to say. And together, we'll work our way through the madness and try to shed some light on the dark. Anyway, see you next time.